Hi, my lovely people. Ooh, what is today? Today is Thursday, so happy Thursday. The days go by so fast, I can barely keep up with them. But y'all, you know how we do it over here. We're going to jump right into it. What is going on with Olivia? Now, let me just say this. Olivia is so boring to me that what I have to do is let her do two or three lies before I can react on any of the foolishness that she says. If she ain't talking about Jasmine and rolling Jasmine under the rug, then I really don't want to hear it. I don't, you know, really want to hear her talk as she put her makeup on and listen to music and only throw side shade. But baby, she done said a few things <laughs> that are almost laughable. So when she went live the other night talking about she was going to be spilling all the tea, where she kept, uh, you know, her sunglasses on all night because it like she was a little bit high, you know. I'm just going to say it. That's what it looked like to me. So she kept the sunglasses on for two hours and she began to talk and it was, you know, Real funny how she kept saying that after people called in, the lesson that she learned the most from and coming into the new year was pressing charges on people. Baby, I almost fell out my chair. Pressing charges? Okay, hold on. I need to see one paper that you press charges on somebody and it's stuck, okay? Because it doesn't make any sense. Let's just break it down. Number one, you went and got a restraining order on Gerard, okay? And that thing got dropped so fast, maybe you couldn't even take a nap and wake back up. So I don't even get that. Then you talking about you pressing charges on folks when you got out here and was running your yap and someone else other than Gerard got in your face, put you in your place and hold you in a damn parking lot. And you did absolutely nothing but come home, click on the camera, sit there, huff, puff, dig in your cantaloupe, sniff your hands and look crazy. You did absolutely nothing but look like a fool. So who are you pressing charges on that's sticking? Who are you out here saying that you need their real name and their addresses and whatnot? Then you are alluding to the fact that you are sending out cease and desist. Who are you sending them to, honey? Because I, I would like to know. Because see, first off, a cease and desist would actually require a court date, okay? That would be a court date. That's not... Yeah, you can get any attorney or you could do it yourself. You could type it up and say this and say that. But baby, I don't pay attention to anything and nobody else should if it ain't delivered to your door by a sheriff. Because see, when a sheriff come to deliver it to you, that means it's been through the court system and a judge has seen it. And now you have a court date somewhere. Usually it's a subpoena or something like that. Honey, ain't nobody listening to the damn threats that you throwing out. Ain't nobody worried about a uh, cease and desist. You look like a fool out here in these streets. You look like the punk now. See, you thought you was going to get out here and run up on Jasmine and punk her and tell her she better keep her mouth shut. But then she came and started clapping back at you and you had absolutely nothing to say. So this is what I get out of this conclusion, okay? Whatever you know on Jasmine, Jasmine knows something just as bad on you. Uh-huh. Because you show shut up real quick. As soon as Jasmine got back on the scene, it was like, uh... Let me do my makeup. Let me do my nails. Let me pretend to have a job. Now you over here sitting there like you, I'm going to work, y'all. I'm going to be a bartender now. I don't know how it works in Florida, but I highly doubt that Olivia is a bartender, okay? Because, see, I used to bartend in the past. I've had a, a bartending job. And, I'm like I said, you um, typically, I'm going to guess it's a statewide thing, have to obtain a liquor license, you know, to serve liquor personally. I mean, you have to uh, obtain a liquor license yourself if you just want to, go and work into um, a liquor store, which requires a little test and, um, you know, putting a little knowledge into it, putting a little money into it. Typically, you have to pay for it up front and then the job will reimburse you and one of your further checks. But I'm going to say anything that would take Olivia having to take a test or take brain or, you know, ask for anything, any kind of credentials, I'm going to check that as a big no. Okay. Now, if somehow she did muster up enough courage to go out and take a test and maybe actually pass it or whatever the case may be, then guess what? I'm going to tell you why she chose a bartending job, okay? Because as a bartender, it's going to say on your paycheck that you make about $3 an hour, similar to a waitress, okay? Then it's going to say your tips is what carries you over. Now, once again, if you say that you only made $50 in tips that night, but you really made 300, then she can report to the judge, hey, I'm only making $20 in tips a night. So, you know, it's a job that's not trackable. Another way that she's dodging her children and her child support would be a reason why Olivia would want to go into this profession. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it trio. Okay. Now, this is one thing that caught me real funny. 
Everything that she said that she learned from previous years and what she's going to do this year, she said that she's going to live her best life. She's going to be happy. She's going to live for her. Not one of her goals, not one of her aspirations, not one of the things that she says that she has learned in the previous year, nothing at all said anything about her children. Because, see, this would be my thing, honey. If y'all ain't woke up to the fact that Olivia don't want them children, Olivia wants to be able to sit there and put her makeup on. Olivia wants to be able to snort when she wants to, drink when she wants to, and party when she wants to. We're going to be getting some videos here very soon. Because, you know, I always say it and then it happens. She's going to be showing herself at a bar with a drink in her hand and partying and things of that nature. And she's going to claim she's at work, okay? That's what we know that Olivia does. Now, if Olivia does have a job, like I said, which she doesn't, because you can look on her child support paperwork and it's public and it will have the list of her employer. And right now, the only thing she has is Google AdSense. She has no other employment. So the bottom line of everything is this here. Olivia doesn't have any goals to try and get her children back this year. She says she wants to travel across the world, so that doesn't say that the children are going to be anywhere around. Her so-called baby AJ is with her mother in Florida going to see his real mother, Raquel, somewhere down the line. You know, that's how that goes. Um, Olivia right now, I mean, what kind of dirty dog is going to try and get jobs and do things to uh, bypass child support? She sure wasn't doing that when Gerard had to pay her $300 a week. Now was she? She was collecting them checks and running around the country with them kids. You are a sack of shit, girl. Like, come on. You want to get up here and you want to talk about doing nails, doing hair, and doing makeup, but you can't even buy your babies a pencil or a folder? Get up out of here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is a shameful lady that has absolutely no content, no morals, no backbone, no nothing. And, honey, if you think that hair is doing something with that platinum blonde, guess what? You look like a fool. I just want to say it. See, you should have just left it the way it was and tried to say you were going to go natural. But since you want to be over there thinking that you in grease lightning, then I'm here to let you know you look like a damn hot ass mess. And that's just my opinion. And, uh, you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. But I wanted to check in and let y'all know ain't nothing going on over there with Olivia. But snooze fest, not being a mama, not being a woman, not being nothing, um, throwing out all these false claims and thinking that she really doing something other than that. Honey, you're boring. So on to the next. I'll see you guys in the next reaction and in the comments below.